that Islam is a warlike, violent religion. They both agree on that. They have everything in common. Osama bin Laden would be nodding along to everything he said tonight from the opposition. He agrees with them. The problem is, the problem is that mainstream Muslims don't. The majority of Muslims around the world don't. In fact, a gentleman here cast out a quoting all sorts of polls. Gallup carried out the biggest poll of Muslims around the world, of 35,000, 50,000 Muslims in 35 countries. 93% of Muslims rejected 9-11 and suicide attacks, and of the 7% who didn't, they all, when polled and focus grouped, cited political reasons for their support for violence, not religious reasons. And as for Islamic scholars and what they say, well, Daniel talks about our University of Oxford. We'll go down to Oxford's Centre for Islamic Studies, get hold of a man named Sheikh Afifi al-Akiti, who is a massively well-credentialed and well-respected Islamic scholar, who has studied across the world, who in the days after 7-7 published a fatwa denouncing terrorism in the name of Islam, calling for the protection of all non-combatants at all times, and describing suicide bombings as an innovation with no basis in Islamic law. Go and listen to Sheikh Tahir al-Qadri, one of Pakistan's most famous Islamic scholars, who published a 600-page fatwa condemning the killing of all innocents and all suicide bombings unconditionally without any ifs or buts. There's nothing new here. This is mainstream Islam, mainstream scholarship, which has said this for years. You don't go out and kill people willy-nilly in the high street or anywhere else on a bus or a mall based on verses of the Quran that you cherry-pick without any context, any understanding, any interpretation or any commentary.